Alrighty, so now that we are here and we've painted everything on, I wanted to go back and do an ambient adjustment. And this is a way that you can edit any map, any of the original bake maps. So if you come down here and you saw that my original ambient occlusion, I didn't use because you can see it caused issues here and here and I didn't like what the map was doing. All the procedural stuff, what it was doing to here, um, to the ambient occlusion map. So a way that we can work around this is if I don't like the ambient occlusion map for, or any map, normal, it could be any one of these maps. One thing that you can do is you can go in and I can come up here and I can do a fill layer and I can search the project and find my ambient occlusion and drop it in the base color. Okay, so this is gonna be my ambient edit, okay? Now that I'm here, I can turn off everything and we can see that there is, the, that we're still having the same problems because it's the same map, which is fine. So what first thing I'm gonna do is come up to the color because that's the only thing I have checked on. Make sure you're in color here so that's what you're editing. I'm gonna go through overlay. So now you can see we're getting a little bit of change to the overall color and that's that's fine for now but we'll edit that in a second. So something that you can do here is once you have this overlay and you can see what it's doing, it's all the shading information all under here. It's basically doing self shading, it's faking shadows but we don't want this. So what I can do here is I can right click, add a white mask, and then in here what I can do is I can literally just paint this away. And you can use different opacity if you're starting to get some weirdness going on there. So there we go, let's add a little bit more of that. So now that I've painted that away, I'm still getting all of the effects of the ambient occlusion but it's not here, which is lovely. So if I come back to here, uh, out of the mask into the layer itself and in the color, what I can do is I can remove it. This is what it was prior. And now I can edit it just a little, just to see just a little bit of that shadow come in. That way it doesn't alter the color of my grenade too much. Another thing I can do is if I don't want that ambient occlusion everywhere, I can also paint it out in with the uh, polygon fill. So if I go here, go to 3D, 2D, and I don't want it to affect anything here, I can paint, oh, that's white, in a white mask, boom. So now I've just removed it from here. So an option that I have that I can do is, I can actually just go to polygon fill, go to white, and say I want that stuff here and I want that shadow down here. So now I've edited where I want the shadows to show up and I want a little bit of it here, okay? So now we'll have a really weird looking object, kind of like that. So that might be what you want or might not be what you want and you can lower the opacity down and then we can also add filters. So if I right click, add a filter to the mask and then I can choose blur. And that'll come up and then I can basically blur that out. So we're still getting all of that shadow information. There we go. But it's, it's blurring out a little bit and now we can see it doesn't fully work. So if I come back here, I have my brush and now I can go to black and I can just flow and opacity and I can hand paint and kind of blend it out by hand if I want. That way it looks a little bit more natural. Not as good. I'm actually not too concerned with this middle section. I'm actually really want to make sure it's the bottom section that's hit. So I'm going to go ahead and even that out. Up top, I'm going to go ahead and even this out because I want, there we go. And then I'm going to go back into my polygon and I'm going to go to my selection and I'm going to go to black and I just don't want any of this to be bothered. There we go. 
Good. I'll go back to my brush. I'll paint a little bit more of that in. Black. Good. So now my ambient occlusion is still there, but it's only affecting just a little bit. There we go. There we go. It's affecting only the areas that I want, so I painted out and I fixed this ambient occlusion map just by editing everything in here. Okay, so that's something that can happen. Another thing that you could do is if you didn't want it to affect something, you could have the ambient occlusion map and then just drop it into one of these folders and then we'd lose. So if I took this ambient occlusion and dropped it in the grenade folder, you'd see we lose everything up there. If I put it on top of everything, it comes back. So that would be an ambient occlusion edit. And you can do that for any one of these maps. You could bring normal in and you could black mask and erase some of it on top of the initial normal and override. You could color pick and paint out certain things. So you can actually edit the maps in 3D, just takes a little bit more work.